Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Assault, and today I'm going to show you how to make Platinum for free in Warframe. Now obviously the only way to get it without spending your hard-earned money is by trading other players' parts and items in-game for it. So we're going to check out all the items that are in high demand and easy to sell for a lot of Platinum. Let's get started with Prime Parts. As most of you know, you can get Prime, Weapon, Warframe, and Sentinel Parts by playing in the Void and completing missions. Now, some parts are more rare than others and therefore will sell for a higher profit on the market. It also depends how good the set is, how high in demand it is, and how new it is. Older sets most likely will not sell for very much unless they are a very good weapon, such as the Bow Prime, which still sells for a lot because of the handle's rarity and just because people really want the weapon. More recent weapons like the Soma Prime will sell for a lot because they're good and they are also newer. I think the Soma Prime, I've been seeing the Soma Prime set go for around like 120 Platinum in the trading tab, so if you manage to get your hands on that, you've made a nice profit. Also, a great way to make Platinum off the Prime parts is wait until, until a new uh, set of Prime equipment comes out, which is usually three weapons and a Warframe, and try to go for parts in those. The day of release for these Prime parts is insane, what people are willing to pay for it. I remember when... Uh, I think it was Nyx Prime or Nova Prime came out. People were paying ungodly amounts of Platinum to get them, like 400 plus for the set, which is crazy. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to get your hands on the set because when they initially come out, they're just so rare, the uh, part drops. So you're probably not going to be able to get your hands on a whole set, but if you manage to get your hands on a part, you'll probably be able to make a nice penny. Anyways, moving on to the next method which is by selling rank 10 mods. Now there are several mods in the game that you can rank up to rank 10, such as Vitality, Redirection, uh, Serration, Hornet Strike, Equilibrium, Heavy Caliber, and the likes. Now it will take a lot of fusion cores to get these guys to rank 10. I believe it's 590 or so rank 5 rare fusion cores to get a uh, mod from 0 to 10, but if you manage to get them there, you can sell them for quite a lot. Now the ones you're going to want to rank out, rank up if you're just trying to sell them are probably like Heavy Caliber and Blind Rage. These sell for a lot. You can sell these for well over 300 platinum, sometimes people even buying for 500 platinum. Uh, like I said, it will take a lot of time to get the fusion cores that you will need to rank these mods all the way up to 10 and you will spend a lot of credits fusing these fusion cores onto these mods but if you are looking for platinum this is not a bad way to go now the next method is by going for night or not nightmare mods those aren't that great vault mods which you can do by going into the oricon derelict and opening up the oricon derelict vaults by using uh, special dragon keys i have a video about this if you want to check that out i'll put an annotation on the screen i'm not going to go through the whole process but to put it simply complete these missions and you will get a special mod which gives you some huge great bonus and also a negative bonus to back it up some of these are worth quite a bit i believe like i said before blind rage rank zero is worth 20 to 30 platinum people usually pay for it and other ones like Fleeting Expertise, Narrow Minded, and Overextended will also sell for a pretty penny as well. Keep your eye on the trading tab, see what people are uh, offering to buy these mods for and what they're willing to sell them for. Usually you'll see people wanting to buy them for cheap and sell them for high, so you're going to end up meeting somewhere in the middle, and the prices do fluctuate depending on demand and supply. Anyways, moving on to the next method, which is a somewhat newer method, not super new, but it changes every week or so, and that is Barrow Katir. You can trade him your uh, prime parts for ducats, and then every week or two, he will come in with new equipment that you can buy for said ducats. Now, sometimes he'll come in with primed mods, and sometimes he'll come in with special weaponry like the Meridetron, or recently that Skana, I forget what it's called. But if you manage to get your hands on these and wait until after they're not available anymore, people will pay a lot. I saw people looking to buy that new Skana for like 70 or 60 platinum in the trading tab the other day. And then people also looking for Primed Flow, which you can also rank all the way up to 10. And people looking for the Meridetron. So if you manage to buy a couple of these, you'll be making some nice money, although you will have to sacrifice a lot of your Prime parts. Uh, it's probably better to just get rid of the cheaper prime parts, and if you lurk the trading tabs a lot, you'll be able to sell the other more expensive ones. But, like I said before, some prime parts are rarer than others, and therefore, uh, Barrow will pay- Barrow Tukir? I don't remember how to say his name. He will pay you more for the rarer parts in ducats, so... It's your choice how you spend these. Uh, it is guaranteed money if you get some of these special things because people are very willing to buy them, but sometimes it's a little harder to find buyers of prime weaponry. Anyways, that dragged out for a long time. <laughs> and the next way 
to uh, get items to sell platinum is through the syndicates. Now, this one takes a while to get to where you can actually profit from it, but once you get there, it is a very consistent flow of items that you can sell. Now, you'll have to get to rank 5 in your syndicate before it's even worth it, because then you'll be able to get that syndicate exclusive weapon and those syndicate exclusive Warframe mods. Now, the weapons usually will sell for around 30 to 50 platinum each, uh, with, uh, shoot, what's it called, the Marilock being probably the most popular and most high in demand, and the weapon mods and the Warframe mods usually sell for around 20, depending on how popular they are. If you're looking for the really popular ones, you're going to want to go for a syndicate that will give you the greedy pull mod that is probably one of the most popular ones that are out right now and in super high demand. So if you're in a syndicate that has that, keep grabbing those greedy pull mods and selling them on the market. You will definitely find some buyers. There's another one that is the pilfering whatever for Hydroid that makes enemies give loot when he uses his tentacle ability. That one is also pretty high in demand. So those are the ones you're going to want to be looking for when you are selling your stuff. Anyways, those are all the methods that I know of, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. Also, let me know if there are any methods that I missed out on or what you hope the next Prime Warframe is. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.